friends welcome let us observe this totally unedited routine FACO this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose now two side ports are made this is the side port on the right side and this is a side port on the left side the patient is under topical anesthesia and now visco is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and now capsular axis is being done with the help of this utrita forceps the anti-capsule is punctured a capsular tag is raised the tag is healed and it is guided anti-clockwise and in this case my aim is to get a rexis of about 5.25 millimeter the patient has opted for technis 1 intraocular lens which is a very good lens so I want the lens to be the optical part of the lens to be overlapped by a rim of anterior capsule hydrodissection hydrodelineation has been done nucleus has rotated very nicely the antechamber is again filled up with visco and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO needle. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3. I am in high vacuum, high flow rate mode from the very beginning. The FACO needle goes with its level down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now the handpiece is turned, bevel is made up, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury, flow rate is 45 and ultrasonic energy is 60 percent and this is direct chop, direct horizontal chop. The nuclear mass is held at the middle because this is a relatively soft cataract and we can hold such nucleus only at the middle and here it is the last portion of the nucleus this is thick epinuclear cushion and it is mobilized and it is removed with very little ultrasonic energy maybe 10 percent ultrasonic energy and now a lot of cortical lens matter is there in this case in this case my plan is to remove the cortex with bimanual irrigation aspiration first I hydrate the cortex with the irrigating proof in this way I hydrate all the cortex all around and then I go with irrigation and aspiration. The advantage is the cortex comes very easily once it is hydrated in this way. So most of the cortex has come out and see in this case I didn't have to change hands all the cortex came out. Uh, now I hydro polish this the small speck of cortex is there at 4 o'clock and it is removed and now a hydro implantation of Technis 1 lens has been planned Technis 1 is a thick lens and I prefer B cartridges for this and for this I enlarge the main wound little bit so the main wound which was 2.8 millimeter has become 3 millimeter now 
and here goes the intraocular lens. The lens unfolds gradually, not abruptly as some lenses do. So this is good. It opens gradually and within about 40 seconds, 40 to 60 seconds, the lens unfolds completely. There is no visco in the anterior chamber, so basically the case is done. We just have to close the side ports. This is a bit of moxie and now corneal stroma on either side of these paracentesis wounds are hydrated and these stab incisions get closed. Once this is done, we just have to do a final lavage of the anterior chamber and conclude the case. This is the final lavage with a 23G Simco. I prefer this instrument because I can direct a gentle stream of BSS towards the corneal endothelium with this instrument and remove all the visco molecules that sticks to the corneal endothelium. The antechamber is formed very nicely. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.